What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae, the first bag again for another video. You guys already know I do the Jujutsu Kaisen, the officials, every Sunday. You guys already know. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, well, now you know I do it every Sunday, all right? So, I always want to tell you guys good morning. You know what I'm saying? It's not a sunny day at this time, but it's still a great morning nonetheless. So, you know what I'm saying? Go get you some breakfast. Go, you know, wash up. Go do whatever you need to do in the morning. Do your little morning routine and then come here, sit down, watch me react to this chapter and do a review. So, yeah. Last chapter though, however, so to recap for last chapter, we are just basically being told or reiterating the uh, rules of the Cullen Game event. Master Tension was just going over stuff and even telling more things like, I forgot the name of the curses, but he said that everybody's gonna have this little cursing around them. Kind of like uh, Yuki's curse, it looks similar to hers a little bit. Basically it just floats around them and it's supposed to be like a program, like a programmer for, essentially it's a programmer, um, but it's a curse. And each uh, participant is going to have one with them. And uh, let's see what else happened later on. Oh, we got the Hawkery name drop once again. So I can't wait to see him. I know everybody can't wait to see that boy Hawkery. We, you know what I'm saying? We all want to see him. And then later on in the chapter, we got introduced, sort of, kind of, sort of. Oh, yeah, pretty much introduced to a new participant in the calling game event. And he's a comedy club kind of guy. So that's interesting. We've seen people from different backgrounds so far. First, we've seen this angel lady, very mysterious, obviously. We don't know what the hell, you know what I'm saying? If she's a real angel or not, she had wings in the halo. So we've seen her and then we've seen this, this you know, the average guy doing his comedy shit. So I'm assuming um, within like, I guess at the end of every chapter, so, you know, from now on, we're going to see more and more people. That would be interesting to just throw people in at the end of the chapters. So hopefully, I, you know, we might see another one at the end of this one. But let's get started, you know, because it wasn't too much from last chapter to go over. Let's get started. What exactly is that thing? It is possible for an artificial curse corpse to operate independently to a greater degree than other manipulation techniques. But it consumes the cursed energy that a sorcerer gives it as a power source. Oh, oh, that thing's cursed energy belongs to itself. So it is self supporting the higher-ups are currently trying to designate you as a special grade and officially impose as an in indefinite restraint upon you hmm. because if you can intentionally make those you can make an army so answer me yaga do you truly not know how that thing was made no i don't wow i thought he made it though. masamichi okay this is another i guess this is another daughter he created everyone has worked Everyone has worked about how gloomy you are. Yeah, so I told him we should cheer you up. Yeah, aren't I a genius? Yeah, you are. I'm sorry, Takaru, but I can't return for a while. Tell everyone for me. Another outing? Yeah, and a long one. Don't worry, Master Tension projects, protects this forest, and your mother will come to see you again. Even without me, you'll be fine. Hmm. Masamichi, we'll miss you. Oh, you got hell of a curse, dolls, or whatever. Did he make all of those? Cause he said earlier that he didn't know how Panda was made. So did he make all of those? Or is it like uh, just some that exists from somebody else or whatever? Are you sure about this? Kusakabe, hey, my boy Kusakabe. I like, I like Kusakabe. <laughs> oh, so I'm guessing these people are, they were actual people that turns into these dolls for some reason, huh? Cause he said his nephew. Huh. I guess Kusakabe came to talk about his nephew and then this lady talking about younger sister. Interesting. Tekaru, Tekaru. I hate to do this, Kusakabe. I understand it mustn't get out that that a fully independent curse corpse exists. Living with my sister is, an impo is impossible. I'm sorry. What are you apologizing for? I'm grateful. I truly am. Thank you. Well, that's a cool panel. Who's that standing up there? <laughs> Where are you going without any cursed corpse, Principal Yaga? To see my son. Hmm. You got the death sentence, so allow me to tell you the only way to save yourself. Tell me how to make fully independent artificial curse corpse right here, right now. You get pushy the moment Satoru's gone, huh? Yes, of course. After all, I'm with a veteran sorcerer. Hmm. Principal Gaku Kanji. Oh, shit. Wait. What the hell? Whoa. Principal, you may go and leave the rest to me. As you wish. What the fuck? Wow. You replicate soul information from from physical information, then input that information to curse corpse. Oh wow, cores. Wow. But that isn't enough. You must put you must put cores housing three highly compatible souls into one curse corpse and have the souls constantly observe each other. 
damn. Only that will stabilize the souls and give self-awareness. Then in three months time, it will achieve self-sustaining curse energy. Why? Tell me now. Why not before? Why didn't you try to live? What the hell? It's a curse, Principal Kanji. A curse from me to you. What the hell? Masamichi. Oh, shit. Panda seen that? Ah. Oh. Why do you not fight? Do you not hate me? I'm not like you humans. Human behaviors don't bind pandas. Besides you and Masamichi weren't on, on bad terms, and I bet you just acted on orders from above. To me, you're like a falling knife. Damn. But remember one thing, even pandas cry. God damn. Wow, man. Because he was, yeah, he was um ordered to get executed, right? Because of, um or to receive the death penalty. I don't know if that counts because it doesn't seem like it was a very formal way of, you know, doing a death penalty. But um, damn, man. He got, wow, he got, he just got murdered. Oh, I just realized something too. He was trying to see Panda. That's what he said. He was trying to see his son. Wow. Oh. Interesting. So I'm assuming Yaga did his last, like, um, you know, his, uh, how can I say it? His last curse thing, I guess, like, uh, binding a human soul to a, a doll, basically. Um, for I guess for Kusakabe and that and the girl because she's seen her younger sister or something like that. Um, interesting. Well, I guess not for Kusakabe. He said something like, "This is not your nephew." Or maybe his nephew's there. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, damn. Okay. So I guess he actually he does these things like buying somebody's human soul to a doll. Say maybe if they're dying or something, like if they're sick. I guess and he just binds it to that. And then, you know, he, that's, that's just what he does. You know, that's, that's cool. I like that. And then I guess that was his last customer pretty much. And then now look at him. It's like, damn, he said his like last words to Kusakabe and shit. And then they're saying thank you to him and apologizing, saying that they're grateful. And then we had flash forward, I guess, or transition to him, uh, walking back, um, into the city and you see this guy on the light pole. I guess it's like his executioner. That's what I'm saying. Does it like a? Does it matter if it has to be like a formal death penalty? I guess this is a formal way of doing it. But then this man, uh, Principal um, Ganji, what the hell? Like, so he attacked him and killed him, right? What the hell? Because that other guy didn't do shit. I don't think he did. Because Principal, boom, Principal, you may go on to leave the rest of me as you wish. Yeah, he. I swear, these higher-ups and shit, man, they are so, like, damn, man. Mm -mm -mm. Going out just, mm -mm -mm. I need somebody to go to the higher-ups, go to the HQ and just slap all of them. Slap them, slap them off, slap them, slap them off. Because, <laughs> man, that, wow, that's sad. And he said, I wanted to see my son. He's talking about Panda. Oh, my God, that Panda came there. And then he wasn't even gonna try to fight Principal. He went past the Principal was ready to square up and shit. And Panda was looking at him. He was like, nah, fam, I ain't even trying to fight. I'm trying to go to my father. You know, I ain't trying to, wow, this, wow, this chapter was deep. Wow, this is a, this is a great chapter, bro. This is a great chapter. Shit, and he said, even Panda's cry. Wow, that's so sad, bro. Damn. And then we get the next fucking chapter on May 16th. God damn, man, it's going by quick. How long? That's yeah. That's two weeks. Yeah. Wait, I feel like it's more than two weeks. Hold on. One, two. It's like three weeks. What the? Oh wow. Okay. Well, I guess this is a good chapter to stop on. You know what I'm saying before before the break, because you know you ain't gonna forget this one. This is a good one that to remember and like to you know come off on. Damn man. R.I.P. Principal Yaga. I knew he was gonna die. I mean, they said that he was. You know, he pretty much was, but damn, man. And nobody knew. Of course, people are going to end up knowing, but not from who and shit. Maybe they'll say the, um, the HQ, but not from, like, the actual person or whatnot. Damn, man, that's, that's tough. And Panda, he's about to go crazy. And what was that one thing that, uh, Prince, that Yaga said earlier? He said something about that, like, Panda, um, let's see where, if I can find it. Um, let's see, where is it? I think 
consumes that okay it is possible for an artificial cursed corpse to operate independently to a greater degree than other manipulation techniques okay but it consumes the cursed energy that a sorcerer gives it as a power source okay so i must and then okay that thing's cursed energy belongs to itself so it's self-supporting the higher-ups are currently trying to designate you as a special grade and officially impose an indefinite of indefinite restraint upon you so basically the person that creates that corpse that cursed corpse their energy is going to be i guess absorbed by the cursed corpse so i'm assuming i'm not sure if he has been already absorbing it like like all of his shit like over time or he already had it in the beginning like he absorbed you know a good a great amount of it when he was born and that was it or it's like continuously maybe he can get his energy right now that would be cool panda for sure, we're gonna need Panda, Big Panda out here. We're gonna need Tank. But damn, that's sad, man. R.I.P. Principal Yaga. This chapter, I like this chapter. It was, a, it was a nice chapter. It went by really quick, though. But it was definitely a nice chapter. Um, a lot of good messages here, I guess, you know. Um, well, yeah, a lot of good messages. The bond between a, a, a human and a, and a cursed corpse. Panda crying, you know, he's showing the emotion. Even though he's not a human, he's still like a, a, a being, you know what I'm saying? He's still a part of nature, a natural being of nature you know so it's like that happens you know animals can cry animals can have feelings too to a certain extent you know for different reasons or whatever whatever the reason may be every, everybody or every animal every species have some kind of feelings in some kind of way um or a sense of justice or a sense of you know so, you know what i'm saying like just a part of nature in general the, the natural funda fundamentals of nature um, so that, you know, Panda and, and his father, you know, Principal Yaga and Principal Yaga helping people by, by binding their, uh, like people's loved ones, um, souls into those people. That is great. That's, I like that. Cause so far we've seen a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but like, you know, Ghetto and shit or the brain or Nortoshi or whatever. Um, um, Kenjaku, <laughs> we learned his name. So Kenjaku, uh, we learned that like, oh, well, we already seen that, you know, his, what well, his whole thing and, and Ghetto's actually, Ghetto's power um with the curses and shit and curse manipulation and all that kind of shit but with yaga he's helping people um by binding their souls that, that's so dope man this is a great chapter i'm gonna give this chapter damn what should i give this mm, i'm gonna give it an 8.5 i'm gonna give it 8.5 i would give it a 9 but i feel like it was too quick i feel like i needed a little more a little more dialogue because i went through it kind of fast you know but yeah uh that's all I got for this chapter. That's that's the end of the review portion. I love this is a great chapter. It's a great chapter. 8.5. It's a great chapter. Great chapter. RIP Principal Yaga. Once again, I've said that a few times already, but you a real one, man. Damn. But that's all I got. So um like, comment, subscribe, share. You know what I'm saying? If you fuck with your boy, um, stay tuned for more videos within the next week. I'm gonna be starting new shit soon. Like I've been saying, I'm gonna start soon. All right, just just know I'm gonna start soon. But like I tell you guys in every video, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. I'll see you all in the next video. So peace.